Um, and I would just call myself an artist because it's a lot of things. Everything I do has to do with some type of art, you know, whether it be music or, or um, artwork. Um, so you draw too? Yes, I've been doing wow. this. Wow. It's been doing that about about the same about the <laughs> about the same amount of time as like playing the piano about like sixteen years. Wow. Yeah. So you play the piano, you play the guitar, you yeah. draw, you rap, you sing. Yeah, yeah, sing. You yeah. play with the machine and you beatbox. Yeah, yeah. I, the machine thing I'm just learning. I'm not I'm not a but the videos Nowhere that I seen, pro. you was kind of lit. Like, I was ready to kick a high 16 <laughs> after watching it. I swear thank to you. God. No, thank you. I'm just yes. little, learning So process. tell everybody where you from. Um, I'm from Harlem, New York. Actually, I'm from the Harlem West Side. Harlem in the Pilt. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm from the Upper West Side. Um, Manhattan Avenue, that's where I'm from. Okay. Okay. So, like, that's by, like, what, Douglas Project yeah, and all yeah, of that? Yeah, Douglas, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Douglas, yeah. Yeah. That's what the Park West is like. All right. So, I mean, you almost like downtown versus uptown. You're, like, in the yeah, midst right, of right all of that. Right in the middle of everything, yeah. It's like yeah. one block you'd be, be in the projects, and next, you know, you could round millionaires. That's how so, it's... one block you could get a $7 pack, and then the next block you get a $15 pack? Yeah, pretty much. All in a matter of steps. All in a matter of steps. Jesus yeah. Christ. That's that's, a, that's crazy. Yeah. So what made you start doing music? Like, what it just, um, what happened? Well, I, I, well, aside from music being a part of, like, my family, a lot of people did, did it in my family, mostly my father. Okay. Um, I grew up in the studio with my, with my dad. It started from me and just me just wanting to be around my father most of the time. So what was he doing in the studio? He's also he's a guitar player, bass player. Okay. Um, And he's, he's a songwriter. Was so he in a band and everything? He was in a band, but that was before I was born. Okay. And then by the time I was born, he had, he just was the guy to come through in the studio and do what he do. do, do, what he, do. Um, he wasn't part of an actual band. If anything, he was part of like production groups and okay. writing groups and, you know, had jam sessions and things like that, but no, no band. That's so dope. And you was a yeah. witness to all of that. Yeah, just watching it. It makes sense watching you. Yeah, it really is. You. So Maybe. you always had the ear for music. So when was the first time you picked up a guitar, picked up a piano? I mean, well, tapped the piano, excuse me. Oh, man. First time I tapped the piano. Did I touch the piano, I remember? I think I must have been like uh, four. And what was it like, twinkle, well. twinkle, or was it like the scale? It was, uh, it was the, um, <laughs> no, it was, it was the, the, you know that song, that, dum, 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 The big dum, song? Dum, 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 That's the first song. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. That's the first song I learned how to play. That's hard. Yeah, that's all For a four-year-old? That's yeah, my amazing. Father, my father was teaching me. It was just, dum, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, explain what they are. Oh, my God. Harlem, you learning from your father. Every yeah, So when did you take it seriously or you always took it seriously? Oh, I have to say I started, taking, I started taking it seriously when I started rapping. I started taking music seriously when I started rapping. When did you um, start rapping? I started rapping at the age of 13. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm 25 now, about to be 26. So I've been doing okay. rapping for a certain amount of time. So did you start off with like a group or was it just always a solo act? It was it was by myself first when I started rapping because it was like I got into the battle circuit very quickly. When I started rapping, battle. It was about, you know, I was one of those guys that was battling for free before I got big, you know. I was into that culture in that world. So since it's such a world round so can I get a little bars right now? Since we're talking about you rapping? I mean, yeah, sure, no problem. Hit it! All right. No, acapella, I want you to hit it. I want to hear it. All right. All right. Ah, I think of the last rhyme that I, that I, that I wrote, and it's always this one. It's, I got to write more. Let it um, go. When it comes to this, there's only two options for you. Get out of duck. If you around when I'm pissed off, you shit out of luck. I'm Wild West with the bars. I pull out and buck way faster than niggas not putting in and pull out of Dutch. I keep it on me so it don't have to come in the clutch. But I'm good regardless of that. I don't have to come with the crutch. You rocking ball mains and you thinking that is enough because the ones that set in the trends are the ones you happen to trust. And that's cool. I ain't mad, little nigga. Go and get your money. You got to sit and deal with what you did to get the money. Meanwhile, I'm with the squad. Watch to split the money and move on to bigger things and then forget the money. And you? 
You niggas gotta be kidding. Like the Justice League saying, still trying to be villains. Yo, it's gotta be the knowledge, yo, it's gotta be digits. I need a model looking better than a lottery ticket. See that ball that I just said, you know society did it. Like that I know all my niggas ride or die with me gimmick. See, I see the fuckery and you're entirely with it. You know that shit should be retired, so don't tire me with it. Get it, boss! You know who you remind me of? You, It's almost like you were a real funky, Afrocentric, just uh, neo soul. You mm. like most deaf, common, those oh, type of, yeah, you. you know, artists out there. Like you conscious, because you already, you preaching, this is, you got to sell your soul, what you just said. Mm. So I get that from you. What made you so positive? Um, Especially growing in the hood. Just going through what I, what I went through. Honestly, I started when I started making songs. When I started actually making songs, it, it, it became more of a way of me to really express everything that I wanted to do. When I was rapping, I didn't ne always necessarily have a message. You know, doing it like it was just rap. But like like raps that I just rapped about just now. Like yeah, it was okay. I had little little points, but it wasn't really completely about anything. And that was like that battling phase. When I started making songs, I was able to really put the thoughts in my head and my opinions about things around me into it. You sound like you was doing good in school and everything. Around that time I was, but then I stopped. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like you read a lot and like you so knowledgeable, you know. I'm pretty sure there's so many conversations to be had with you. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so <laughs> since you're rapping, you also beatbox too. When did that yes. come about? That was you? before everything. Um, everything, so it started off with the beatbox. Yeah, everything pretty much started with beatbox. Yeah. So, like, what would you do? Like, people have ciphers and you was the, the beat maker? I, I was around, the, uh, like, like, like six, seven years old. I was doing that, like, older people. But uh, it started just, it started um, uh, strumming my pain. And when we I heard that, strumming my pain? when I heard that in the kitchen, I'll never forget that. I must have been like four. I must have been like four or two. What, by Fuji's? No, Fuji's. When I heard that, is what made me fall in love with hip hop and it made me want to beatbox. I started. And you know, that's usually my, my started uh, doing that. question. What made you fall in love with hip hop? So yeah, shout man. out to Fuji. Yeah, Fuji. So can I definitely. get a little, little what? show me my pain what beatbox? That? I'll go on. I'll go. I'm gonna eh, rock eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Yes. Amazing. So you rapping, you beatboxing and everything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you taking your music seriously and yes. you you already playing guitar uh um sorry, piano. So what made you really start focusing on the guitar? Um I think uh, uh I think it's mostly my grandfather and me. My grandfather wasn't a he played guitar. He loved the guitar more than he played it, but he was a guitar player back in his day, but he was more like an athlete. But when he didn't do that, he played the guitar. And I guess that's where my father got it from. But um I wanted to play guitar for my naturally watching my father play the bass. Okay. So I you know the bass is sexy. That should yeah, make you come out your drawers. It's hard though. Yes. And it does a number on your fingers because you see these like see I know you these have six up. strings. But imagine four metal strings. Only four strings, but metal. And you're slapping your thumb constantly on it. It, it, it puts away and wear and tear. I started playing the bass because I wanted to play the guitar and it just it wasn't working, wasn't working, wasn't working, wasn't working. So my father was like, okay, here, try this. Put the bass on my hands. And I played that for like seven years. Okay, so you played bass too. Yeah, before guitar. It's never guitar. ending with you. Before guitar, yeah. Yeah, so it seems like music is passed on from generation to generation. And it's not necessarily having an ear for music. Mm. I mean, you guys are actually playing instruments, like you actually creating music from scratch. 
yeah. basically. So yeah. it seems like you had a long line of strong men in your family that passed on that traditions, you yeah, know. So yeah. how was like holidays and stuff? I know y'all was jamming at Christmas by the turkey was, and everything. It was mostly like not everybody. It was more. I mean, what it was mostly the, the people that were most is mostly my father and his sister, my aunt. Were the most really musical people mostly in the family, but you know, the rest of it was like church, okay. musicians. It was like nothing wrong with it, but you know, wasn't really in. So you the had music a good field. balance of the yeah. rock and roll and gospel and, yeah. and soul and yeah, jazz yeah, and yeah. you know. I, I started rapping because everybody sings, everybody sings. My mother sang, my father sang, grandmother, grandfather. Do you sing too? Yeah, that's why I sang. So I'm naturally, but I wanted to rap, and I wanted to make sure that I was good at rapping, because nobody in my family rapped. I was like, so you wanted to stand out and do something different than if, anybody. Everybody, which sang. is understandable. Everybody yeah. want to have their own way. Yeah. You don't want you want to follow in their footsteps, but you also want to make it better. So mm -hmm. I get that. I totally mm -hmm. get that. So mm -hmm. moving forward. Yes. You you creating music now, is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. So yes. what you trying to come out with like a album, mixtape? Um yes, I have an album that's in the works right now and um actually a couple projects are in the works right now. I'm, I'm, I'm part of a music collective right now too as well. Um that we have a lot of things coming up for. Um but uh you know, for right now just putting songs out until the projects are, are, are really so. Who's in. you the sole producer? I'm pretty sure no, you're no, the no. sole producer. You um, like no, Kanye I'm, West in I'm it? I'm growing into that. I have I have uh, many producers that I'm working with, but mo mostly um, producers that I've been working with for years. Uh, my, my right one of my right hands is, is my um, my brother Justice Bond. Okay. He's a producer, um, and he's more the producer. He's like a composer. He's he's, a, uh, uh, he's the one that got me into making songs. You know like, how to read music too. No, I'm learning that now. Okay. My, my, my lady is actually teaching me. She does music theory. She's teaching me how to read music. And that right makes now. sense. You have a lady who knows how to read music and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. She plays so, guitar too. So, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, um, I see myself uh, part of a independent label. Um, I see my, my myself and my my colleagues uh, with placements and getting our message out to the world. That's where I pretty much see it. Five years be everything financially stable and and the music being out on the forefront. You know. Well, I always have a theory. You could really tell somebody's uh, musical gift by who they listen to. So I always ask this question: Who's your top five dead or alive? Okay. It doesn't have to be rappers. It could right. be anybody. Okay. Oh, uh, top five. When we, when we talk about top five, I go to rappers, though. Okay, I so have get to. it. It's get not it. like my top five favorite artists in general, but rappers, I got to go number one. It's got to be Big Pun. Okay. Number one. Um. But number two has to be, has to be Nas. That's right. Of course. Hi, Dad. That's yes, my baby daddy, though. Number he doesn't two. know it yet. Nas but you the, know, that's yes, my yes. baby daddy. Number that's two has to be Nas. And number three has to be Buster Rhymes. Okay. People don't say that. Shout and out to And it don't make no damn sense. Buster it don't make Rhymes, no damn sense yeah, why Buster Rhymes' um, name is not mentioned as, as one of the greatest rappers of all time. Because he's been the mo one of the most consistent Listen. rappers Listen. of all time. He's Listen. never stopped. Right. He still hasn't stopped. Yes. From the leaders of the new school to now. He's yes. a, only one of the very few people that's never stopped giving you hits for every immortal. Yes. Like Missy Elliott. These people are immortal. They doesn't, yeah, but he had a long yes. career. He's still, it's he's, still going. Yeah. And people don't make it got, that long. He's got about more, like 10 more years in him. Yes. And he, you know what I mean? Like, but okay, that's, that's three for Busta Rhymes. I'm glad you um, said that. That was definitely. real dope. And then my last two is damn near some of the most important, though. Okay. It's like raising me. The last two raised me. As DMX and Q-Tip. Why DMX? Uh, DMX, DMX and Q-Tip because one, okay, I didn't have to sneak to listen to Tribe, but I had to sneak to listen to to DMX and the Rough Riders in general, right? But it was two. It's just two different sides of the spectrum. It's like you have you have like okay, you got Fife Dog and Q-Tip, 
these dudes were like the, the like it wouldn't be you no know, like Lupe Fiasco or people like Kanye West or or people like Consequence or Common if it wasn't for people like 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 the King of the Abstract Q Tip or people like FIFA. It wouldn't be. And and you talk about DMX, it was like the opposite of that, which is just like he's like the the the, the closest thing we've had since Pac. The closest thing we've had to pop, DMX. You look at it, talk about everything like controversy and everything, being that real in the streets and then being that real in the industry, both like with DMX. That that fire, and that hunger, it represented us. He be us. talking about robbing you, but then praying for you in the same bar. It, it, it's real, it gives you that feeling, but it was about, it was right? about that, that hunger, said. that yeah. hunger. When artists come out with that hunger, you know? especially <laughs> from the neighborhoods that we grew up in, with that hunger is undeniable. Like yes. that's why Meek Mill got on. Meek Mill got on because he showed that hunger. It was genuine. You you, you see it more now again. You know in his recent music, but you know you, when you when you have that hunger, it's undeniable. Yes, it it's is. it's real. You, it's, you know it's years of slavery behind that anger. You know, so you know that's why. This is such an amazing show. Like I'm really well, enjoying I'm myself. But I do have to, to wrap it up. Definitely. But I do got yes. I would love to get you some melody and some guitar oh, yeah. before we leave, yes. please. Thank you. And thank you again. Wait, I want to announce it because this is like big shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we got something real special for y'all. We got the one and only multi-talented singer, pianist, guitarist, you name it. Mr. Christopher Swift. Thank you, thank you. Hold on. Okay. This song. Actually, you heard me playing this one. This is the actual song to it. It's called uh, Fuck It, Never Mind. Get it. All right. Time to deal with you to think there was a time where I would take the time to deal with you, and now I'm like, fuck it, never mind, fuck it, never mind, yeah, yeah, fuck it, never mind, fuck it, never mind, yeah, yeah, fuck it, never mind, fuck it, never mind, yeah, yeah, fuck it, never mind, fuck it, never mind, yeah, yeah. I was thinking cars, I was thinking cribs, yeah, yeah. I was thinking rings, maybe couple kids, yeah, yeah. I was thinking us, I was thinking trust, yeah, yeah. And if you needed love, I would be your plug, yeah, yeah. At least I got to have my fun, it didn't end up with the sun. I didn't need the whole cookie, girl, I was okay with the crumbs. I stay away from pointless headaches, I'd rather just cut off and run. Subtracting you from the equation was really looking like a plus, yeah, yeah. Wait, baby, I'm buck, no days off. Trying to get my pay on till it pays off. So before I head to another way far, let me know what it is that you came for. Wanna ride or die, I wanna ride a mine, yeah, yeah. And if you wasn't down, then maybe, girl, that's fine. Now I'm like, fuck it, never mind, fuck it, never mind, yeah, yeah. Fuck it, never mind, fuck it, never mind, yeah, yeah. Fuck it, never mind. Fuck it, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it, never mind. I've been thinking lately, something on my mind. I just gotta tell you what's been bothering me all the time. You be talking just for a reaction that was never cool. Now you know what happens next. I'm gonna thought you knew the rules. You know I'm up in the way with it. It's unhealthy to stay with a person with baggage and baby you stay with it It's another thing so I gotta get on this plane I can't handle delay with it It was only a matter of time We was only a moment in time See I know you've been losing your mind I was trying to help you but fuck it never mind Fuck it never mind Yeah yeah Fuck it never mind Fuck it never mind Yeah yeah Fuck it never mind Fuck it never mind Yeah yeah Fuck it never mind Yes! <laughs>
fucking never mind, God damn it. If you don't mind, we don't mind. That's like the whole, yo, that was amazing. That was amazing. I want to do another album with you. Like, we got to come back when you drop it. And I yeah. want to showcase it. And we need to be where you at. Like, I am yes. such a fan of yours. I appreciate like, it. Like, it's incredible. So before we leave, you got to tell everybody where they got to find you. And, yes. oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Oh. Pause. I was moving a little bit too fast. While he was playing the music, we was displaying his artwork because... Like we were saying in the interview, he also does artwork. So please, he's about to tell you where you can find them and check everything about this man. Like, you will not be disappointed. So tell everybody where they can find you. Um, everybody, yeah, it was good. Um, you can find me on YouTube as far as Christopher Swift. Just type in Christopher Swift. You can type, find me on YouTube, on Spotify, Instagram. On Instagram is um, Christopher Swift Live. Um, on Instagram, you can find all of my art. and um, I do custom art, and you can... Contact me through that page. Um, uh, Live Loud Silently, that's the, the management the management firm that we under. Shout out to Acapella. management, because yes. they move like savages. Silently. They yes. was all in it. Yes. Talking about, we got to have them. Man, I want them on my yes. show. What took us up? Yes. My boy, my, boy Nod, my, my brother, my, my manager, Naj, and my boy Biggity um, was also part of the um, independent label. Yes. That we're all running right now. AMG, um, my boy John is also uh for the music collective and uh, and management, it's on our worldwide as the production company that we're under. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much everything that we that we And you're gonna right you're gonna take this world by storm. I Thank already you. see it. Thank, Thank you so much for Thank coming. You for like this was such Thank a you. blessing. I appreciate I have it. You. Thank you. And, Yes, and we're yes. about to get into uh, another video from Christopher Smith, and then we're going to get right into Edward Pastati Star, an amazing interview with him, exclusive, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So hard that I can fly and give a dab up to God. So hard that I can jump out of a plane into me as a leap of a frog. Man, I'm too hot for these birds to be pissing me off. So hard that I get involved. When I hit one of my niggas, got shot by the law, man, I don't even vent. No, no. That shit make me wanna go to the block with the vovo. Go to the prison and kill every single person. Like, 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 do I even look like a person that is pretending? Paying attention to TV and media, me, I'm just watching my spending with a love. With a hip hop, love a hip hop really ain't worth none. Saying that this is reality, your reality, you a different person. I really don't know what it feels like to be only with that perk flown. But something is wrong and I.